let it hit the ground. Cash up, head down, head down, cash up, head down, head down, cash up. Hey guys, it's Aloha Mongoose. It's been a while since I made a pink slip video, so I'm just gonna show you some clips that I I collected over on um, the past month and all that stuff. First car I'm gonna be showing is my 1656 uh, Camaro SS. Um, as you guys can see here, I, I just accepted this pink slip race because I was curious to see if my Camaro was faster than his. And that was like, the only thing I was kind of wondering about. This is a, it became a really close race. He, he stayed on me and all that stuff. I was surprised to win it. And I was like, oh my goodness, you know, I was kind of shaking right after that because I don't usually um, pink slip my cars that already have crate rims or meat paint or whatever and all that stuff. But... I ended up winning that race and I was like super excited about that because out of all the cars that I'm going to be showing in this video, it's a car that I've been working super hard on. And uh, yeah, so I ended up keeping the car. But then again, the next day after, I got curious again, which I should have just left it at that, but I ended up losing um, the Camaro. And now I'm in the verge of rebuilding it again. Uh, next is I'm going to be showing you guys my rating 1656 Camaro C6. We're, I'm going. I was going up against this. Um, well, I'm going up against this uh, Evo Eight, as you guys can see, and we were just like um, we're betting and all that stuff, you know. It went up to fifteen hundred and all that, and then I think he pressed the pink set but button right here. Yeah, he did, and then I had my boost on already, so I was just like wondering, like, huh, should I take this? Cause I really hate going up against Evo Eights, cause they always end up smoking me when we pink slip. And, you know, but then again, I'm in a C6, I have class over him and all that stuff, so I'm just like, I was just like, huh, I wonder if I, if I got him, you know. But then again, I wouldn't pink slip a car that I wasn't comfortable pink slipping, and I have a whole bunch of these, so if I lost this, I would have been okay with it. But, um, I guess in this race it said otherwise, I ended up smoking him. I didn't really think I needed to boost that one, but... I really don't like Evo 8s, guys, because I always get lobby jumped by them and all that stuff, so I always, like, play defensively, and I just make sure to bring my all when I do go up against them. But I want him over rating in class, so that's not something to be surprised about, but I just really hate Evo 8s when I go up against them in pink slips. Next right here is a uh, free-for-all event. Uh, using my mp4 now this car wasn't even supposed to make it onto my videos but it ended up doing so lined up with this uh mp4 here this white one he ended up pressing pinks i turned on my boost because i was like hey why not you know if i lose this car it's whatever's you know i didn't really played with this um car until this event and i really need to do races and everyone that wanted to race me wanted to pink slip and i was way more comfortable racing up against an mp4 than going up against you know other cars that were in that lobby because you know <laughs> the tune wasn't that good but i ended up i ended up winning look at my reaction time and look at that you know i had boost on so he was probably no, not boosting and whatever so i feel bad for that but even if i wasn't boosting i would have lost that race I ended up keeping the car i could have took the trade-in bonus but 136 for or mp4 yeah right no ways um but yeah you can see that there's mercy lagos subarus and all that stuff the rts are in there i would have got smoked if i pink stepped up against them uh, what else is in there hemi kudas i think those are hemi kudas i'm not sure but anyways i saw this um person in a yellow um dart um dart and i was just like uh, if you're in this lobby and sticking around and all that stuff, you got to be max. You got to be 1650 and all that stuff. So I was like really curious to see um, what would happen if I um, challenge um, her into a race. She ended up pressing this uh, pink slip buttons right out of the back, which I really didn't care for. Because I'm like, hey, if I lose this, like I said, if I lose this car, I wouldn't care. I already won a new MP4 already. So if I lose this car, it's all right. It's just, it just would be really embarrassing to show up in the um you know in the lobbies that I lost to a, a dart because it's a class D and whatever. So what I wanted, I was like, oh wow. I was more surprised that the car was still living by the time I crossed it the finish line and it was still in my possession. I was like, wow, I want another pink slip race with this car. I should have traded in look, three hundred and forty-two. 
but man, my my team was doing pretty good. We could have been top hundred if we did really good in the RWV event, but we didn't. Next year, my C6 going up against a Viper, I literally just got him out of my sight. Um, I don't know what happened there. I need to check the race results to tell you guys what actually happened in this race here, because I smoked him. Um, even if I didn't boost, I, mm, no, if I didn't boost, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have won. But I should have traded that in, because look, 424, that would have been a lot. And I could have at least took a little break or so. Because I, I was like going hard for the free, free for all event. I was like using my C6. I was like trying to race as much people as I could and all that. And I had two of them. I had this one with the crate rims on. And I had one with just the stock rims with the purple neon and all that stuff. So those are like my only two cars where I was okay pink slipping with for that event. Uh, for this guy, I had to check him out, you know, so we started uh, betting back and forth, raising it little by little. Um, I <laughs> didn't really know where we were going from here, but I just was like betting a little. I was like, okay, because I didn't want to bet something stupid like 10,000, 10, then he goes a million, and I'm just like, oh, hell no. Then I lose 10,000 easy, you know. I had to lose the 10,000 and a million, but then again, it's just like, I hate having the chicken out and paying him 10000 you know what I'm saying? But we ended up betting that and we ended up racing on it. And I was like, okay, all I have to do is pass him and all that stuff. And I was like watching him and watching him. And he started to creep up. And I was like, hey, you know, the Skyline, it has something. There's something in that car if it was able to creep up at me at the end there. I'm like, huh. Like, I was like, I was just kind of wondering. He's like, oh, you got a 9.1 on a... And his reaction time is 0 0.09. And I'm like, oh, he has something underneath that hood. I don't know what it is, you know. And that's what I was thinking. So again, uh, he races me again. So I bet the 100. And he bets the 600. I turn on the boost because I have no idea where we're going from here. And I wanted to make sure that I win whatever money we throw on the table. But it was another back and forth thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just press the pink slip button. If he chickens out, I get a, an easy 1700 and if it's a race, it's a race. I get to see what the car can actually do, you know. So he was thinking on it. He, he took a while to accept that, um, to accept the challenge. And I was like, okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I was like, oh, I hope he, like, I wouldn't mind him chickening out because, like, easy 1700 no problem. I'll take that any day, you know. But he ended up pressing, um, accepting the bet. And I was like, okay, let's do this. It got real. I get to see what the car does, um, but yeah, and I, yeah, I pulled off that perfect launch there. I think that's what secured my win. If not, it would have been a really close race. It wouldn't be that much car lengths if I messed up or anything, which I usually do. But I've been doing some pretty good runs with the with my um, C6 and all that. But yeah. Won 3,300 and 500, oh, no, 3,350 Racing Rivals cash. I took the, the 8 points rather than the 115 because I'm like, oh man, that's a vaulted R34. It's worth more than that. And also, I took it. But, you know, all good things come to an end. Um, This race right here is the, the end of my, you know, C6 and all that stuff. I just lined up with this Nismo. I pressed pinks because I really wanted that Nismo. I started to get a really good league off of him. And then after that, I... He just came out of nowhere. And I was like, oh, man, you know. Like, I really wanted that Nismo. But, you know. It's whatever. It happens, you know. But then again, I have to think like, hey, you know. He wouldn't have accept the race if he didn't have something. This one right here caught me by surprise because this Mercy Lago here that I'm lined up with, and this is my other C6 that I was using for pink slip racing. Not a lot of pink slips in, in uh, this car that I'm in right now. Only that one with that yellow evil, but uh, we ended up just like raising the bet little by little. I didn't know where he was going from there. I just turned on the boost and all that stuff, and I was like, oh man, I just really want this car because 
his no boosted times are 9.5, 9.6. So I could get him. I'm like, okay, so if he boosts, he's going to get a 9.1 at most. So I have to pull this 9.0 out. I get a perfect launch off of that. got him out of my sight. So I was like, hell, like I'm just going to run this like I would run any race. And next thing you know, he comes out of nowhere and just flies right past me before we pass the finish line. I'm like, oh my goodness, I was really upset about this one. But then again, it is a Mercedes Lago. They are known for great comebacks. They just have a really bad start. He pulls off an 8.9 with a 0 0.098 reaction time. I was just kind of like, what? <laughs> but it happens. Uh, this clip right here, shout outs to Blue Bayou. He, en he ended up donating me 100k. Which I, I really thought this was a race because he told me to race him. And then he ended up uh, betting. And then I accepted it. I was ready for a race. And then he fouled. And you can see in this chat box here. I, I said it's supposed to be a race. And then. You know. I told him I was going to put it on my channel and stuff. So I did. Uh, right here is a pink slip race with my green GNX. That wasn't supposed to be a pink slip race. I supposed to check it out on this. But. Um, for this turbo event here. I wasn't really helping my team out that much. I, I sucked in the BMW event i didn't really do good in the class c one so i was like okay the turbo i need to start putting some points up so i ended up doing so winning this pink slip race you know with the jet winning this jetta you know i shouldn't have risked my car like that because that's always bad news for me when i put a car on the line like that because look i ended up losing it to a lobby jumper in a multiplayer race so i should have just stuck to um turf four pink slip slipping with this car because it would have done pretty good uh, last clip for this video is my MP4. Once again, it's the only car that I still have. So yes, I did win this race, but I wasn't expecting him to pink slip, um, me. And I accepted it because I'm like, hey, if I lose this car, it's whatever. I had a really good run with this. You know, I ended up getting a perfect launch. Ended up getting him. He started to come back a little bit. You know, I was like, oh, no, no. And that was a really close race. I was just like, wow, you know, this MP4, I still have it. It won three pink slip races. It's not really a good tune. As you guys can see the times, it's not really that great. Maybe I j I'm just getting lucky and going up against people that don't have great tunes or whatever. But, you know, that's that. You know, you win some, you lose some. That's what pink slipping is all about for this game. Um, you heard it before. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and all that stuff. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys liked the commentary and all that stuff for this video. I didn't really, I, I didn't know what to do for the editing for it. But I did what I had to do. But yeah, guys, thanks again. See you guys next video and aloha. Now cash up, let it hit the ground. Cash up, let's down.